Okay, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, uh, welcome to the next talk of uh, scheduling uh, seminar. Uh, good uh, evening in uh, Asia and Oceania. Good afternoon in Europe, Africa and Middle East. And good evening and good morning uh, in America. So let me ask uh, Guo Hua to present the speaker. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Global Scheduling Seminar Series. Today, uh, we are honored to have Professor Li Xintang from Northeastern University of China to give us a talk. Uh, let me spend a, a, a few time to introduce briefly Professor Tang. Professor Li Xintang is the Vice President of Northwestern University in China. He is an elected member of Chinese Academy of Engineering, which is the highest honor of uh, engineering people in China. He's also the director of key laboratory of data analytics and optimization for smart industry. Uh, this is a uh, key laboratory of Ministry of, K of Education in China. He's also the head of Center for Artificial Intelligence and Data Sciences and is the chair professor of the Center for Industrial Intelligence and Systems Optimization. And he has uh, many other uh, titles, so I, I just skip. So uh, yeah, by the way, he's also vice president of the Operations Research Society of China. So his research interests covers broad range of industrial intelligence and uh, systems optimization, including industrial big data analytics, and machine learning, convex and sparse optimization, integer, optimi uh, integer and combinatorial optimization with applications in production and the logistics planning. He, ha he has published intensively on this topic in various uh, journals like operations research, manufacturing service operations, research, uh, operations management, IISE, transactions, and so on. He received the best applications Paper Award in 2019 from IISE Transactions. He's also uh, actively, uh, in, actively played an uh, important role in various academic ac activities, including numerous committees of uh, international conferences uh, and uh, as a social editor of IISE Transactions, I I IEEE Transactions on Evolutionary Computation IEEE transactions on cyber, uh, cybernetics, Journal of Scheduling, International Journal of Production Research, and the Journal of the OR Society. He's also on the editorial board of Annals of Operations Research and serves as the area editor of the Asia Pacific Journal of Operations Research. So uh, let's welcome Professor Tang to give us a talk. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Guo Hua, introduction. Distinguished guests, dear colleagues, good afternoon in Europe, good morning in USA, good evening in Asia. I'm Li Xintang from Northeastern University of China. It's my great honor to be invited to make this presentation. First, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to Professor Michael, Professor Zenek, and Professor Guo Hua for inviting me to introduce the research that we have been working on. For some of the research, I work joined with Professor Jin Liu from Loughborough University, Professor Zhenlong Chen from Maryland University, and Professor Inacio from CMU. And I would like to thank them for cooperation. Today, I'm going to talk about data analytics and uh, automation in the industry covering production, logistics, energy scaling problems, and uh, some application of uh, data analytics and uh, automation. My presentation mainly consists of uh, six parts. I will first uh, make a proper introduction of the deal industry which is our major research background. And then I will come to the scheduling as well as other optimization and the data analytics problem derived from it. 
steel industry is a basic material industry supply raw materials from many other industries involved in the circular manufacturing such as the equipment manufacturing industry and the automotive industry. Therefore, it plays an important role in driving the development of those, these industries. China has been the largest steel producer in the world for the last two decades. In 2020, China's steel output reached more than 1 billion ton, accounting for the more than half of the world's steel output. Steel industry has been one of the peer industry in China's national economy. What we have been working on has supported and contributed to the development of the transforming of the steel industry. The overall production process in steel manufacturing can be roughly divided into the four stages, iron making, steel making, hold rolling, and cold rolling. At the iron making stage, raw material are transformed into the molten iron. At the steel making stage, the convert first transformed the molten iron into the molten steel with the required steel grade. And then the continue cut transforms the molten steel into the slabs. Sequentially, at the hot rolling stage, slabs are rolled into the steel strips. Finally, the hot rolling coils are rolled into the sheets with the required specifications at the cold rolling stage. The steel production involves both continuous and discrete production operations as well as multiple high temperature operations, consuming a massive amount of energy and resource. Due to the complexity of the steel production process, it is a huge challenge for us for effectively organizing the entire steel production process. Irrational decision-making may result in low result utilization, high energy consumption, and high production and inventory cost. How to overcome these critical management challenges and smooth production process is the key problem that has long plagued steel production. Therefore, in this presentation, I will talk about how to use analytics and automation techniques to solve the production management issues, including production, logistic, energy, and data, which are commonly faced by steel industry. First, I will talk about system modeling and automation methods we have proposed to solve the production, logistics, and energy scheduling problem in the steel industry. The steel production involves complex physical and chemical process, complicated logistic structure, and huge equipment. Furthermore, the demands of the steel product are usually characterized by the larger variety and the lower volume. These new characteristics make the modeling and solving scheduling problem more challenging. The first challenge is that it's not straightforward to formulate the problem mathematically. Each problem consists of multiple conflicting objectives and many complex technological and managerial constraints. Secondly, solving this problem is another technically intractable challenge. Each problem is strong and hard and involves a number of the integer variables. Thus, we cannot directly apply our generalized existing algorithms. For the complicated engineering objective, we have proposed the system modeling method to quantitatively describe the production and the logistic schedule problems. The production and the logistic schedule models should be formulated on the basis of the production quality and custom order requirements, considering the transformation among raw material, semi-finished 
products and finished products as well as their space time movement. The completed process logics and the production technological restriction should be considered in the constraints of the model. Furthermore, various management requirements such as resource, energy, and equipment utilization are also considered in the objective of the model. For the production schedule based batching, said packing model is formulated on the basis of the given candidate set. Each element in the set represents a feasible batching scenario. Then the model is to find the independent subset with the maximum rewards, where no elements are permitted to be covered by more than once. The set packing model can effectively reduce the number of the variables and the constraints and improve the solving efficiency of the model. Space time network flow modeling is used to, to formulate the logistic scheduling problem. Regarding the, this problem, we have proposed an event based space time network model with the side constraints. The model is formulated on the basis of the graph on which each node represents a location at the end of the specific scheduling stage, and each edge indicated a moment between the two locations at the stage. Computational results show that the model is tighter and can be solved much more quickly than the ordinary model and the standard space time network flow model. Continual time based model is the used to formulate the production scheduling problem. Unlike, unlike the discrete time modeling, it does not use to discretize time into the interval and allow task to take place in any point in the continuous domain of the time and thus improve the accuracy of the efficiency of the modeling. The unit specific Event-based model is used to formulate an integrated batching and schedule problem because it needs for the fewer events point to describe the timing of the events. The resulting model is smaller size and has better computational performance compared to the other scheduling model. To overcome the limitation of the optimization modeling, the fusion of system mode optimization and the data analytics had been proposed to the describe the complicated production and the logistic schedule problems. The sign is the abbreviation of the data analytics and automation, which is the DAW. The DAW theory including two parts, which I will introduce respectively. The first aspect is the system modeling, which is the signature of the mathematical modeling and the data analytics. Mathematical model is used to, to formulate the identifiable and the quantifiable parts of the production and the logistic and energy schedule problems. Meanwhile, data analytics supplements the mathematical model through the contracting the parts that have two model and forming the parameter of the model. The second part aspect is the fusion of the system optimization and the data analytics. On one hand, for system optimization methods such as integer optimization, convex and sparse optimization, intelligent optimization and dynamic optimization, data analytics methods are introduced to dynamically and analyze the structure feature of the optimization space, thus enhances the optimization efficiency. On other hand, for data analytics methods such as, as evolutionary learning, reinforcement learning, statistics physical based learning, and the information theory based learning, system optimization methods are used to the improve the learning performance and enhance the generalization ability. The production and the logistic and energy scheduling in the steel industry contain 
both allocation and the sequencing variables with the future of the large scale, multi objectives, and the dynamics. The problems cannot be effectively solved by the mathematical optimization method. To tackle these challenges, high efficiency exactly algorithms and high procedure computational intelligence algorithms had been developed. Following are some integer optimization methods used to solve the scheduling problem in the industry to cope with the different problem features, different methods are designated to different schedule problems, including the branch and the price, the range relaxation, bundle state compensation, auto optimization, and the branch and cut, which I will introduce respectively. Branch and the price is a generalization of the branch and the bond to the handle integer problems with the block diagonal structure. First, the original problem is decomposed into the master problem and the sub problem using the dancing worth decomposition. Thus, the column generation algorithm is applied to the effectively obtain the relaxation solution in each branch node, which can provide a tired lower bound. For the production batching and scheduling problem, we propose and branch and the price approach based on the set packing model. We discovered the trapezoidal feature of the cost charge in the sub parameters and construct a new low dimensional dynamic programming algorithm, which can overcome the drawing back of the high dimension. We also proposed the multi-layer branch strategy, which make use of some problem structure. For the first time, the proposed algorithm solves the, the same kind of the problem optimally. The Lagrange relaxation is commonly used to the solve the scheduling problem with the complicated and coupling constraints by employing large multiplayer, the coupling constraints are introduced to the objectives. And then the problem can be transformed into the several simpler the sum problem, which enable the complex problem to the decrease exponentially rather than linearly. For very class schedule problems, such as the bunch schedule and the hybrid Photoshop, Scheduling, we propose a different decomposition method, including the batch decomposition and stage based decomposition method. To cope with the different parameter features, hybrid background and forward dynamic programs method is used to solve the dual problems where a job has multiple immediate successors. Commutation results demonstrate the effectiveness of the improvement strategy. Bundled decomposition algorithm is usually used to the solve large scale mixed integer linear problem with the block structure. Basically, it decomposes the original problem into simpler ones. An integer multi problem and the linear sum problem, which are solved in an uh, interactive method by utilizing the solution of the Y in the R. For the logistic schedule problem, we have proposed an improved bandwidth decomposition algorithm, which is enhanced by the use of the rather valid inequalities combined with bandwidth card and the variable reduction strategy. Experiments result demonstrates that the proposed balanced method is effective in the convergent performance and the solution time, and it can well respond to the challenge of the relaxed operation in the resonance time. As we know, the chemical process is highly nonlinear, and the corresponding schedule problem are usually formulated as mixed integer nonlinear programs. Auto automation algorithm is commonly used to solve the mixed integer nonlinear problems. The OA algorithm is to 
is a decomposition based method, which uh, involves a mix of integer linear multiples and nonlinear sample. The algorithm solved an alternative final sequence of multiples and the problem sub problem until the gap is closed. To improve the efficiency of the OA, multiple generation cars are contracted, which enable two algorithms to solve multiple sum problems in the one iteration and hence reduce the total number of the iteration. Furthermore, the scaled contracted cost is proposed in that of the linear cost, which makes the quicker and tighter understanding mention of the nonlinear function than a classical bus. Through the benchmark test, the proposed algorithm is shown to be superior to the traditional OA algorithm. Ground card algorithm is a very successful algorithm for the solving the variety of the integer programs. It consists of a combination of the cut and play method with branch and bound algorithm where the cut and play method can improve the relaxation of the problem and promote the bond. For the logistic scheduling problem, we enhanced the cut generation by the incorporating the several of the inequalities. Also, we embedded several pre-processing techniques and separate heuristics to accelerate the convergence of the algorithm. The computer result support both the effectiveness of the efficiency of the branch and the cost. The algorithm I have just, just introduced are exactly integer algorithms, which are often used to optimally solve the per schedule problem up to middle and scale. Next, that I will introduce some highly efficient computationally intelligent optimization algorithms which are used to solve the large-scale scheduling problem with the feature automatic objective of dynamic and high nonlinearity. For the nonlinear programming problem, we have proposed a new variant of the differential evolution algorithm that is a component of the individual-dependent parameter setting and the an individual dependent mutation strategy. For individual dependent parameter setting, control parameters are set for individuals according to the difference of the, their finite value. For individual dependent mutation strategy, for mutation operators with different searching characteristics are assigned to the superior and the inferior individuals, respectively at a different stage of evolution process. The experimental result demonstrates the outstanding performance of the algorithms. For the dynamic schedule problem, we have designed an uh, improved differential evolution algorithm with a real coated matrix representing each individual of the population. To further improve the efficiency, of the effectiveness of the solution process for the dynamic yield. An incremental mechanism is proposed to generate a new initial population for the D, whatever real time event arises based on the final population in the last D solution process. For the multiple objective optimization problem, we have designed uh, the hybrid multi objective evolution algorithm, the personal best and the global best concept of the particle small automation is used to the select parent solutions for the crossover animation operators. To achieve the balance between the exploitation and exploration, adaptive selection strategy is proposed to select the most appropriate operator from the multiple crossover operators. A propagating mechanism is performed on the external archive to improve its quality. For the multi-objective problem, we have proposed a new variant of the multi-objective differential evolution algorithm based on the reference axis 
versatility mechanism. The reference axis is generated by uniformly distributed weights vector in the object space. Due to the evolution, based on the whatever the reference axis has been assigned with the solution, we can determine the unsearched area to generate a new solution. And thus, good distribution of the population can be restored in the objective space before cost of augmentation. Computational results illustrate that the algorithm is compatible or even superior to the sum state of art multi objective evolution algorithm in the literature. When I have just talked about other major modeling and automation methods that are commonly used to the solve the schedule, scheduling problems. And in this rest of my presentation, I will talk more about the scheduling problem production, logistics, and energy in the industry. The key point will, will be the future of the problem instead of the details of the modeling and the optimization method we just discussed. What is the production schedule? As mentioned before, steel production is a complicated multi stage process that mainly consists of the end making, steel making, hot loading, and cold loading, involving many operations at each stage. And it is well known that its scheduling problems are characterized by intractable technical restrictions, conflicting multi objective and the numerical integer inter decision variable. Targeting this challenge, some industry-driven engineering scheme, including problem decomposition, intelligent analytics, and data fusion, are incorporated into the optimization method, which I have just introduced for solving the following optimization problem in the industry. Let's first focus on the steel making stage. The scheduling in the steel making production mainly include including the two types of decision. The first one is the batching decision, which is to transform primary requirements of uh, ordered into the production batches. There are two types of the batches, charge and cost. Charge is basically unit of steel making production which referring to the batch of the molten steel loaded in a ladle. Cost is defined by a sequence of charge that are consecutively produced via the same condition. The second one is scheduled decision which are to allocate sequence and the time the change and the cost on the corresponding facilities from steam making to contain, continuous casting production. This slide describes the charge batching problem, which is another interesting problem. When charge batching decisions are made, only the old with the same chemical content and the dimension requirement can be produced in the same chart. However, now they in the order of high variety and the low volume and the total quantity of the theft with the same requirements is often less than a chart load. Therefore, along with the ordered slabs, open order slabs will be produced, which can improve, increase the consumption of the resource and energy as well as the production and the unit cost. Therefore, the charge batching problem is too jointly specific the slabs needed to the satisfy each customer order and group all the slabs of the different customer order into the multiple production batches. For this problem, we have formulated a novel mixed integer programming model and the development and Automation algorithms combining Lagrange relaxation and column generation. Computational results demonstrate that combining algorithms is highly efficient and can generate solutions that are very close to the optimum. 
as shown before, a full furnace of a ladle of the molten steel is called a charge. In this work, we have studied the integrated charge batching and the cutting with selection problem at the steam making stage. Given a set of the charges, a set of available time dishes, a decision problem is to batch and the sequence charge to the charges to form the cost of which one cost is for each available time dish and also selecting costing with width for each charge in the cost. There are two objectives, maximizing the time dish utilization and minimizing the total grid switch and the switch, switch cost of all the cost form. A number of the technological constraints and restriction must be considered again when we model. Modeling. Then we propose the branch and price algorithm to optimally solve this complicated problem. A column generation approach is used to the solve the underlying IP reaction problem. In addition, valid importance are proposed to the strengthen the IP reaction. The proposed the branch and the price algorithm can always find the ultimate solution to practical problem in reasonable computation time. Next, the, we focus on the steam making schedule problem. The problem is to determine that in the what sequence, at what time, and uh, on which device should be the molten steel, should be arranged at the multiple production stages from steam making to continue casting. The model is developed as the not linear model based on the actual production situation, considering both punctual delivery and the continued production. It is then converted into the not, lin not into a linear program model, which can be solved by the C++ easily. In this work, we present a new type of the batching scheduling problem called the semi-continued batching schedule, which arises in the heating operation of the hot rolling. The problem under consideration is different from the classical batching machine schedule problem in the following aspects. Firstly, job in the same batch enter and leave the machine semi-continuously. Secondly, each job in the same batch has its own starting time and the Finish time and the batching processing time dependent on not only the longest job, but also the capacity of the batching machine and the number of the jobs contained in the batch. We have presented in the optimal pro properties of two different objective functions and presented and different dynamic program algorithm respectively. This worker focuses on the hot rolling mill in steel production to ensure product quality, smoothly thickness, transition from the slab to slab of the gradual ways, increasing part unnecessary in the rolling process. The continued production between two setup is called a turn. Scheduling slabs in the hot rolling mill for the production shift is to form the production turn or uh, original the sequence from the rolling the individual slabs in each turn. The objective is to minimize the change over cost in the production sequence. From the view of the global optimum, we have proposed the parallel strategy to simultaneously schedule multiple turns for the whole shift and formulate the hot rolling schedule problem as a multiple traveling salesman problem. In this work, open order slab allocation problem at the hot rolling stage is investigated. To fully utilize the furnace capacity, open order slabs will be produced along with the custom order slabs. Because the open order slabs always result in lower results, utilization, high energy consumption, and high production and even cost. 
steer plans have to allocate the open order slab to a fulfilled custom order as one as possible. Therefore, the open order slab allocation problem is to allocate suitable open order slab to the unfulfilled orders and group the remaining open order slabs into the batches over a planning horizon. We developed a specialized hybrid mathematical program algorithm to solve the problem exactly by exploiting the problem structure based on the duality theory. We derive the solution property to the reduced solution space for the accelerating algorithms. For batching and nearly at the code rolling stage, the batching decision including the selecting suitable coils to form batches, each of the which is to be loaded to an empty furnace for a nearly. Selecting one of the coils in each batch to be the medium coil. The objectives are to maximize the total re reward of the coils covered and minimizing the total cost due to the mismatching of the coils. In this work, we formulated the problem as a binary integer problem and the development and the ground and price and broad cost exactly algorithms. We also employed a variable reduction strategy to reduce the solution space and speed up the algorithms. Finally, we developed a batching decision support system that is embedded with all of the algorithms. As I have introduced the production schedule, now I will talk about how to use the optimization algorithms to solve the logistic scheduling problem in steel industry. Steel industry logistics is closely connected to the upstream and downstream production processes and directly affected, affects the efficiency of the steel making hold rolling and cold rolling production. The basic logistics operations, including loading, transformation, shuffling, storage, and uh, storage. Next, uh, I study the crew scheduling problem in a warehouse where steel coil are stored at the two level. A given set of the coil is to be retrieved from the, their designated places. If required coin at the lower level is blocked by one or two coin at the upper level, in order to retrieve it, the blocking coin must be first moved to the other positions. The considered problem is to determine the new positions and the required creating moment so that all coins are retrieved in the shortest possible time. For this problem, we formulated a mixed integer linear programming model and implemented a sequential solution approach. A dynamic programming algorithm is proposed for the optimally solving the restricted case. Based on the analysis of the spare case, a theoretic algorithm is proposed for the general case and its worst case performance is analyzed. In this work, we have studied the integrated production and the delivery schedule integration problem. In this problem, make to all the products are first processed at the plant and then delivered to the customer sets through the two stages of the shipping. First, from the plant to the pool point and second, from the pool point to customer sets. The objective to obtain a joint schedule of the job processing at the plan and two-stage shaping of the complicated, com completed jobs to the customer sets and optimize the performance measure that is taken into account of the both delivery timelines and the total transportation cost. For the offline problem involving a single production line at the plant, we provide uh, the optimal dynamical of programming algorithms. 
for the more general offline problem, we propose the first curative and analyzed this worst worst case and assume per total performance. For the online problem, we propose the online algorithm and analyze their competitive ratio. The item shuffling problem is to assign blocking items to suitable storage position for the retrieving a given sequence of the required items. An item is called blocking item if it blocks the retrieving of the required item and must be shuffled to the other available slots. The loss. Our aim is to minimize the, the weighted sum of the total shuffles and the total train traveling distance for the data shuffling operations. We formulated the problem as the linear integer programming model with the additional sets of the valuing qualities. The polynomial time algorithm for the spare case and the great theoretical for general cases has been proposed. Experimental results show that the algorithm are effective and efficient for the problem. The reshuffling and stacking problem is to determine the storage positions of the incoming and the reshuffled item in a stack to avoid future reshuffles as much as possible and improve the operating efficiency of the cranes. The improved model and extend the heuristic can obtain optimal and feasible solution of the corresponding problem and are superior to the existing model and the theoretical algorithms. It is worth mentioned that this paper was awarded to the best application paper of the IE conception. The storage planning. A number of the steel coils are transported by car to customers by shape. We have uh, decided the position of the each coin on the each shapes. The objective is to minimize the moment imbalance of the shape. The total number of the shuffles leading to the unloading and the dispersion of the coins to the same destination. A number of the technological constraints are co considered. Coins vary in the width, diameter, and the width so that the position for the placing them are flexible. This making storage planning for the coins more difficult. In this work, we formulated the storage problem as a mixed integer program. We derived the file validity coded for the model. Then, triple search algorithm was developed. Next, I will talk about the energy analytics and the schedule in the steel industry. Along with the steel production, a massive amount of energy is consumed, including the over 20 types of energy media such as gas, steam, and oxygen. Given the complicated supply and the consumption of energy in steel production, it is difficult to achieve crazy energy scheduling directly. In this context, we need to the, conduct some energy analytics effort to have a full perception of the energy process. The energy analytics we provide here mainly contains energy description, diagnosis, and prediction. We first conduct the energy description to obtain real data by filtering the abnormal data and completing the missing data. And then the energy diagnosis is carried out to recognize the bottleneck or energy consumption, analyze the corresponding reason, and finally give the advice and solution for the improved energy utilization. At the last, energy prediction is to estimate energy consumption and the regeneration in the future production theorem. All the above analytics can provide decision information for the energy automation and then 
we provide strong support of obtain overall optimal energy schedule. Next, I will present several energy optimization cases. First, we studied the dynamic energy allocation problem, which focuses on the comprehensive optimization of the energy medium involved. The problem is to determine how to allocate the limited energy media resources to the fulfill the production demand in the entire production process from air making to the cold rolling. We formulate the problem as the mixed integer linear programming model with the objectives of the minimizing the energy emissions and energy cost, as well as maximizing the energy revenue. We develop an approximate dynamic programming algorithm to solve the energy allocation problem. Computational result demonstrates their proposed method is stable and highly efficient. The following cases mainly focus on the optimization single media from the actual requirements of the gas management we further study the gas scheduling problem. The problem is to the schedule three types of the gas to the meet the production demands. We formulate the problem as a multi-objective optimization model to obtain trade-off solution among the cost of the gas consumption, purchase emission, and the holding cost. We propose and solve the constraints handling method to the deal with the complex practical constraints and development computation evolution algorithms. Computing the result on the benchmark, benchmark on and the real world instances of the demonstrated method effective efficiency. In this work, we have studied the steam schedule with the consideration of the electricity generation. The problem is to determine the allocation of steam to fulfill the demand of the both production and the electricity generation. We developed a mathematical automation model which have, has improved the overall operating efficiency of the steam systems and reduced the steam emissions. In this work, we address the oxygen schedule problem. The problem is to determine the on off status of all the equipment in the oxygen system with the objective of the minimizing the total generation and the charge over cost. Uh, mixed integer programming model was established considering the, the pipeline pressure, fluctuation, restriction, and the production requirements. The so experiments result the demonstrate effectiveness of the model. For the steel industry, there are two main concerns. One is the efficiency. Another is the quality. As I have just introduced a schedule which deals with the improved efficiency of the production of data energy. Next, I will talk about how to improve the production product quality by data analytics. Furthermore, data analytics can also provide feedback to the form across the loop schedule. Case one is on N quality prediction for the N making. For this problem, an evolutionary learning algorithm is proposed to handle the complicated blood furnace production process with the black box properties. A multi objective evolutionary algorithm is used to improve the parameters of the learning algorithm. Computation result based on the practical data illustrate that the proposed learning method can achieve excellent prediction accuracy on the generalization ability. Case two is on dynamic prediction of the D making, which is another important operation. Further, regarding the data analytics of the temperature and the quality prediction of the basic oxygen furnace in the steel making process, due to the physical and the chemical reaction, as well as the black box 
property in the smelting process. It is difficult to predict the temperature and the quality of the molten steel in the real time. We propose the multi stage dynamic data analytics method based on the machine learning with the hybrid kernel function. To improve analytics accuracy, a different evolutionary algorithm is used to the optimize the main parameter of the analytics method. Case three is on temperature prediction of the reheating finesse of the, for the halting rolling. For this problem, we have proposed a hybrid modeling method combining little squares part vector machine and the mathematical mechanism model to the predict temperature distribution of the slabs. Experiments that show that the hybrid model is superior to the mechanical one. Case four is on strip quality analytics of the continuum annealing for the cold rolling. For this problem, we have proposed an evolutionary example learning method with the practical process data, in which the same learning and are established by multi-objective evolution algorithm. And then these sub-learnings are the examples based on the differential evolution algorithms. Experience results that the modeling method is efficient and superior to the some ordinary example learning methods. In the future, I will focus on how to utilize analytics and automation technology to overcome critical management challenges in the industry. The four level smart manufacturing framework is the proposed and implemented. The collecting sensory data, including the image processing speech and the text are understood and described at the perception level, at the bottom level. Then the production process is accurately diagnosed and the product, product quality is predicted at the discovery level. The next, the operation optimization and optimal control are uh, executivity accordingly. Finally, the decision making of a production planning and the schedule is optimized to the gain the capacity of the smart industry. And this framework, data analytics supports system optimization. And the system optimization is dynamically adjusted according to the feedback from data to the formula closed scheduling. So four levels of perception, discovery, decision making and executive constitute a close loop for the back structure. Our concept is to be rooted in industry and dedicated to the science. We will keep drawing the lessons from the practical needs in industry to make a key in science and technological research. We also hold the idea that the future of the data analytics and automation is a general trace, trend, and we will make an almost effort to promote its development. This is all my presentation. Thank you for your keen attention. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, uh, Professor uh, Lixin Tang. And uh, let me ask the first question. Uh, I encourage others to, to ask uh, questions either via chat or I will unmute all, uh, or I will you allow you to unmute uh, after the first question, okay? So, so my question is on slide uh, 32. You, if you can go back, please. Uh, you speak about uh, refilling operation with uh, uh, some kind of uh, waiting time, which is probably 
a type of uh, maximum time lag in, in RCPSP terminology, probably. So this is typically difficult concept or difficult uh, part of the problem because it's some kind of backward dependency uh, to the previous operation. Because if the previous operation is too early and our, uh, for example, on the, system, the object cools down too much, then we have limited time to start the subsequent operation, which is probably refilling one. So could you comment how, how difficult it was in your case? Was it like a source of troubles and uh, let's say of, um, that it imposed a lot of troubles to your algorithms or, or was, it, uh, was it that important? Uh, thank you, Professor Denak. The very interesting the problem. I now I would like to try to answer your questions. Uh, the problem is very important because the waiting time between the operations is very important. Uh, because the if the waiting time increases, the maybe the temperature will be the reduced. The waiting time between the operations is the and uh, how to control and how to schedule it is the, uh, the, the key features of the problem. The, in the steel making steel operation, the charge, the different charge and difference the different charge from the cut, the difference the charge needed to continuously the, on the cut the, operation continuously. The uh, waiting time is very important uh, for the, this problem. So, therefore, we formulated the problem, the charge, the uh, waiting time, and uh, the one formulated problem as the objective function, the objective the uh, waiting time. In addition to the objective of the waiting time, we also consider the delivery time and uh, are the, the continue uh, the continue the objective of the uh, requirements. Okay, thank you. So and now please uh, you can unmute yourself and ask the question directly or type it in the chat uh, as you wish. So there's this, the first question. So Professor Tank, if you can read it. Uh, Okay, uh, this is a very uh, interesting the problem. The concerning the same, the, the, this, the, yeah, this slide, I think uh, the, we formulated the, the problem in the uh, average processing time in that of the stochastic, because the practical, the uh, very complicated maybe the stochastic. Now we just use the uh, average time instead of the stochastic the situation. And we develop, we implemented the, the practical the model use the average time instead of the, uh, instead of the stochastic. Uh, the you suggest a very important in the future research, and uh, in fact, we have been working on the maybe we use the, the uh, machine learning to and uh, predict the proce processing time and uh, everything. Maybe the uh, model can be uh, improved improved by using the machine learning. And uh, another idea maybe use the. Stochastic uh, the idea to the uh, problem. 
maybe uh, hybrid the dog car take the mechanism and the, the machine learning together to handle this problem exactly. And uh, your question is very good. Maybe in the future, they consider this a situation. Now, I before implemented the JAT use the average time. Okay, thank you. All right, so, so any other question? So, so if there is not such a case, then let me ask the second question. Um, in your conceptual slide at the beginning, you have mentioned several problems, for example, production scheduling and logistics scheduling. Uh, and in, in, the, in the solution proposed, you solve them like independent problems, which in fact is not the case if there is not like enough of stock between production and scheduling. So, so in, in reality, these problems are combined, but, but we know that we cannot solve everything by like global optimizer. We cannot solve all the problems of our world by one optimization algorithm. So, so, so but, but by how do you handle, handle that in practice, do you like iterate between between some local optimizations, uh, scheduling of production and scheduling of transport or batching or whatever, or is there any like good concept which can handle it like uh, entirely? Yeah, you, I, I think you are quite as uh, the uh, point. And the, because of the production um, process is complicated, uh, when we implement the, the practical the scheduler project, we need to decompose the, uh, the uh, problem into the different part according to the different operation, production operations, such as the steam making operations and the hot rolling operation and the code rolling operation because the each stage has the different features and has the different production schedule features. We need the, uh, the, uh, the individual, we individually, we, we try to the solve the problem individually. Uh, now, your suggestion is good. We also consider the integrated the different part that uh, production and the logistic schedule and the analysis about them, we form the whole production processing the planning. Production planning is the two allocated and the integrated different part. It's the just the coordinated different part to the uh, uh, handle the difference the production, the logistic energy the together, uh, just the, the, the top level to the upper level, and the, what is the together integration, the scheduling, and the uh, uh, lower level is uh, separate the production schedule, logistic energy, logistics. And uh, because of the steel uh, company very complicated, uh, before we just uh, separate a different part into the uh, different uh, production planning, even though each problem production and the data the very complicated, by the just uh, average operation and the production data energy uh, has uh, benefit has uh, through the implementation has gained the benefit for the company. The next chart, in the future, we consider the integrated the different part into the supply chain scheduling. Supply chain scheduling is the key the solution for the everything. But the uh, problem is more difficult. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the very good question. Okay, and then, uh, so everyone is uh, able now to unmute uh, 
himself or herself. So if you want, so there's one question in the chat. Okay, your suggestion is very good. The visualization is the how to the uh, indicate the practical a uh, intuition, the practical the situation. Uh, when we making the uh, scheduling in data or in mathematical model. Uh, sometimes uh, maybe the abstract, the visualization, we use the visualization data uh, simulation can uh, intuitionally uh, show in the mathematical model or data. The, we can, uh, from the data and the uh, mathematical uh, the, uh, get the uh, inside, inside. This inside uh, can improve the solution and uh, and everything. The now I uh, we we making the practical practical uh, practical the project project the visualization uh, technique uh, together with the artificial intelligence all the techniques together and uh, showing the. Uh, practice of the situation and everything. And uh, together to show the uh, practical the feedback and uh, get the more improve the solution. And uh, you are suggesting as the, uh, the it's good. Uh, now they, they, we have developed the, the visualization technique and uh, uh, other yeah, artificial technique techniques to handle this the practical the situation and uh, can pro improve the scheduling the solution. Thank you. All right, so any other question? So if it, this is not the case, uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Lixing Tang, for your uh, nice talk, uh, for your nice animations in your slides. Eh? So if we will do some competition for most animated slides, you would certainly win for the moment. Eh? But we have seen just the first three presentations. Eh? And uh, I believe that we will meet in some other occasion. And for the others, uh, thank you for uh, for being with us uh, and hope that we will see, uh, see us uh, in two weeks. Uh, and if I'm right, uh, the presentation will be given by, uh, uh, by, 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 by uh, Martin Scutella from Berlin in two weeks, okay? So hope to, uh, uh, to, to uh, see you and meet you uh, in two weeks again. Thank you very much. Uh, Bye-bye. Thank you, Professor Tang. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.